learn this from RT. Say goodbye to globalization as the age of disorder is coming. Deutsche Bank. Well, good evening. This is Hound Dog Steve wishing you a very pleasant evening. And I thought this was a kind of an interesting article. The four decade era of globalization may be coming to an end and we could be entering the age of disorder, which will reshape both economies and politics, Deutsche Bank analysis has said in a new research note. One of the key characteristics of the new era will be the reversal of unfettered globalization, a team of analysts led by strategist Jim Reed predicted. While we saw the best combined asset price growth of any era in history, with equity and bond returns very strong across the board since 1980, the age of disorder is likely to break this trend. Deteriorating US-China relations is another theme out of eight that will define the next distinct era of modern times, which is hastened but not caused by the outbreak. The analysts note that the Chinese economy will be closing the gap with the US and could finally outperform it by the end of the decade. A clash of cultures and interests therefore beckons, especially as China grows closer to being the largest economy in the world, the report says. Fortunately, this economic standoff is unlikely to trigger a real military conflict between the two states, as usually happens when a rising power tries to challenge the ruling one. Economic war, with tariffs, sanctions and attacks in the technology sphere will go on instead, the analysts believe. No matter who wins the 2020 presidential election in the US, the rift between the two superpowers will grow. While the CV crisis has already put the European economy at a crossroads, Deutsche Bank says the next decade may become a make or break decade for Europe. Among other factors defining the future are higher debt and helicopter money, distributing cash to the public, becoming mainstream, policies which are likely to spike inflation. Yeah, you're not kidding. Inequality may get even worse in the post-CV world before a backlash and reversal takes place, the bank says. Inequality is closely connected with the intergenerational gap, but the analysts expect that the number of younger voters will exceed those born before 1980 by the end of the decade. This could lead to major policy changes in many spheres, from taxes to climate. Such a shift in the balance of power could include a harsh inheritance tax regime, less income protection for pensioners, more property taxes, along with greater income and corporate taxes, and all around more redistributive policies, the Deutsche Bank report said. Finally, the next 10 years will show whether the exponential rise of the value of tech companies was worth it. The bank says they will either start a technology revolution or prove to be the second dot-com bubble. Well, it will be interesting to see how all of this plays out. Uh, I don't think that uh, it is a hundred percent correct. Uh, I think that um, we are going into a very, very difficult financial time because the amount of debt in the world is basically untamable, and every second it is growing. And I don't think uh, we or the banks are ready for what is about to come. And this will definitely affect US-China relations uh, because, you know, if you don't have enough money to buy manufactured goods, then it doesn't matter if you're the greatest manufacturer in the world. There is nothing that will convince people to buy those goods if they can't pay for them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like, comment and subscribe below. And in the meantime, this is Hound Dog Steve signing off, wishing you a very pleasant evening and we'll talk very, very shortly. You take care now. Bye-bye.